a South Florida girl who's in a league of her own. The young baseball phenom is beating the boys. A superstar pitcher is leading her teammates to win after win after win. Yep, and now the club has championship dreams. And Local 10 News sports anchor Clay Ferrero is live in Parkland with her story. Clay. Hey, Nicole and Louie, the Parkland All-Stars are on the doorstep of the Little League World Series, but here's a word of advice to their potential opponents. Don't take their star pitcher lightly, even if she kind of fakes you out a little bit. It's kind of like they're like, oh, she's just a girl. This is going to be easy because sometimes when I go up to pitch, I start off with a change up and some of them laugh and smile. But Valentina Smith doesn't just play with the boys. She strikes them out over and over. And then I throw a fastball and they're like, mm. they just start actually getting serious. Like the smiles just start to fade away. And when she's not pitching, Valentina is making history with a bat in her hands. Two weeks ago, she hit the first ever over the fence home run by a girl in Parkland Little League. Did you know that was gone? I didn't know it was gone till I started getting halfway from first base because then I heard my whole dugout cheering and I saw it land and I just started crying so hard because it was my first time hitting it over the fence. So how did Valentina get so good? She's clearly talented, but she also works very hard off the field and she loves the grind. Valentina says that she wants to be an inspiration to other girls who dream of doing what she's doing. I've always wanted to, you know, show girls that they can do it just as good or maybe even better of what boys can do. There are going to be a lot of obstacles and there are going to be a lot of people that say you can't do it because you're a girl. I would say to not listen to them, to always shoot for the stars, always push through don't quit. Valentina is a major reason why the Parkland All-Stars are three wins away from the Little League World Series, and she loved to play on that stage. But as a 12-year-old kid, she's just as excited about hitting the road. That's one of my favorite parts, always traveling, hotels, pools, food. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, I think we all remember that being a kid way yeah. back when and being able to travel with your friends, just a, a different world. So they're going to play a week from Monday in that first game. They need three wins to make it to the Little League World Series. And one thing that really stands out by being around Valentina and her family, she adores this. She loves the grind. She embraced oh, yeah. this sport from the beginning. They support her, but they don't want to push her in anything she doesn't want to do. And she wants to be here all day. She would have played out here for hours. Oh, yeah. That is clear, reaching for the stars. Hey, it's a real life Tatum O'Neill from that 1976 movie, Bad News Bears. Remember that? No? Seriously, seriously, <laughs> only I think she might be better, man. I, I mean, the combination of what she brings out, the attitude, the talent, it's incredible. She's great. And I think, I don't know who had more fun, Clay or Valentina. So I think Clay. <laughs> So I'm not going to lie, this is the first time I've actually picked up a bat in like two decades. And uh, yeah, I probably had a little more fun. They kind of wanted to leave like right after the interview. And I told them that no, no, I don't get this opportunity. But my kids are too small to get into this yet. So that yeah, they, awesome. uh, they had to appease me for a little while. Inspiring That's story in every single way. Yeah, thanks Clay.